it's ground over today um, but I have one arm which I can't really use very well because of my shoulder and my elbow injury so what I'm going to do is I'm using a long handled spade this one is a San Stanley AccuScape um, didn't get it specifically for this job it was already uh, one that we already had what happens when people smash up their greenhouses on their plots? Not me, previous tenant. So what I'm going to do, I will get into position here, dig into the ground, push down with my good arm, and lift and twist. And again, use my good arm just to dig it over. Get rid of any roots that you see. Just if you guys, uh, some people on Twitter ask me uh, about my shoulder injury, my elbow injury, and how I manage my clock. Uh, either with the help of my brother, uh, who's gonna he's gonna help move this. It's too heavy for me to move into a wheelbarrow and barrel all the way down to the other end of the plot. So he'll have to help me with that. But other than that, there's things I can. Things like this I can manage. I mean, look at these nettles. Jeez. I still want to use that hand, but it's uh, too much pain to use it. I can use it just as a bit to pull out roots if they're not ingrained in, sort of thing. This, uh, this wish is already doing my head in. into the bush because we will put a uh, membrane the path down sort of like probably for about where I've got to here so we won't have too much sort of uh, more to dig out so it just gives me a bit more a bit more space to plant stuff so um, what I'll say is I'll come back after I've uh, I'll come back after I've uh, done, all, done what I can do on this um, and I'll show you where we've got to um, and I'll also give you a quick tour of the greenhouse because we've moved pumpkins and squashes outside uh, they did suffer from a little bit of uh, transplant shock so I've had to remove the uh, larger leaves on them but they're still looking pretty healthy so we'll uh, continue to see how they go on but they're in the old what was the old potato bed now so uh, hopefully we'll, get, we'll see some action from uh, from them soon and transplanting them I know squash and pumpkins don't do very well um, when you move them because they don't like their roots being disturbed but what we tried to do was we tried to not disturb the roots as much as possible so that we could actually get it um, sorted out but and get them into the ground Put water into the hole make sure that it was plenty wet enough that, that they're not gonna dry out so we'll see what happens with them anyway I'll show you later so show you in a little while up to the other end of the plot where the uh, pumpkins are now and I'll just show you what I've done in the uh, poly tunnel as well it's where the pumpkins were we now have our well some of our um, cucumber plants as you may know I've got around about 21 cucumber plants this seat this year um, which is a little bit excessive um, but you usually look at about 50% uh, germination rate and I put in 24 cucumbers and I've got 20 cucumbers come up out of it uh, so what's that like an 80% 80% 80 
80%, 75-80% germination rate, you don't really expect that, so it was just one of those freak things really, I think, that just happened. But as I say, I've got some brassicas that need to go out um, into the beds here, um, down this end of the plot. But um, I don't actually have any wood at the moment. Uh, Tim is bringing some down tonight, I believe. Um, but I don't actually have any wood to make the beds up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into the ground. I'm going to use the uh, net, net cloche, netting cloches that we've got uh, just to cover them for now and uh, sort of really see how they go from there. Um, we uncovered our uh, onions and our leeks yesterday. Um, and they seem to be doing okay. A few of them have uh, looked like they've been knocked down, but again, we'll see what happens with them. Um, we have a few, we've got quite a lot of onions in anyway, so that's not an issue. But uh, other than that guys, I'll see you when um, I'm done with this and then we'll show you what I've got done. There's the peas. See these to scare off the uh, pigeons. Have our peas, uh, beans. One Brussels sprout plant in there. Peas, beans. Uh, sorry, beans. Two lots of purple beans. These cannellini beans. And then these are butternut squash, which have not got. Uh, one of them's only one of them's done any good. A few of our a few more plants that uh, flowers I've put in there. Some hollyhocks and chrysanthemums, zinnas, and cosmos. Yeah, pretty much. Right, over here we've got our main crop potatoes there and this is where we've moved our squashes to squashes pumpkins marrows um yeah squash pumpkin marrow uh, they suffered a little bit of transplant shock so a lot of the larger leaves have been taken off of them but they seem to be doing all right now nothing's really changed here you guys these are just the larger sweet corn out of the greenhouse in the bed with sweet corn now This bed has been weeded. Runner beans. Onions. Some that's had a nibble on them. Leeks and then more onions. Yeah, today I'll put in some of the cauliflowers which are in the bed in the greenhouse. The purple sprout and broccoli which were in the bed in the greenhouse. And the uh, Savoy cabbage which were all, were all in the bed in the greenhouse. So the greenhouse has changed. Let's take you in here. Take you into the polytunnel first. So you can see we've got our two pepper plants there still. Our courgettes are still down this side. And now in the bed where the squash were, and the pumpkins, we've got our cucumbers. And still got that tomato plant in there as well. I've still got that tomato plant down there as well than our Monday one. We've got a few bits down here. We've got some white sunflowers which need to go out. And there were some carrots down there as well, but they got a bit forgotten about. Our cucumber. She's doing really nicely down here. A couple of nice cucumbers coming on there. And we've got our aubergines. And more cucumbers. Right, let's just go into the greenhouse. Here we are. So, we've still got our tomatoes down here. And we've got our spring onions. It's not quite big enough at the moment for me to transplant, I don't think. And then we've got spinach and beetroot, which haven't, haven't started coming up yet, but they were only put in um, Saturday. So I'm not expecting too much. And this um, 
pepper plant. Now this is the pepper plant which was down the back behind that tomato plant in the polytunnel. And what I have noticed is it has a little pepper on him. So we'll see what comes of that. Put another flower on it. And down here we have our Rob 60 day uh, broccoli. These three rows here. And these three rows here are Chinese cabbage. These are all the ones that were grown in cells. We've got our uh, celery still in here. And down here we've got four little gem lettuces. About a 33% germination rate on those little gem lettuces. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six webs of wonderful lettuces. And then we have got Two, three, six, nine, eleven pak choy. So only one out of the pak choy didn't germinate. So we'll see how that goes. See how all these go soon. And uh, hopefully everything will be fine. Um, Slariac and Swede in this one, obviously. And um, then you can see the corn there. And you can also see the red cabbage and the cauliflower. Um, that bed I told, showed you that was weeded over there, we've got kohlrabi, turnip and globe artichokes in there. Um, so, yeah guys, and then, oh wait, I did show you, I did say I can show you where I got to with the digging. And, talk over this a little bit. Let's put over the back here. It's been dug over up to, sort of there. But using one hand just all the time for digging is uh, makes your muscles ache. Plus, I had to do a lot of transplanting and stuff as well. So, kind of just trying to get a bit more, a bit of everything done. Um, those over there, those cloche type things, netting cloche things. Um, once the wood gets down in here that um, Tim's bringing down, uh, those will be going and we will have proper um, beds like the other beds up there. But at the moment, and around these onions as well, uh, on onions? Around them onions as well, we'll be doing the same. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna stand back even further now so that you guys can see the whole thing. Guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, and uh, please do like and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next video.